What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video. Today you guys are here because you're probably thinking about getting into Sitka, getting into the Sitka Gear Whitetail lineup. And what I want to do for you guys today is give you a quick rundown of the top three pieces that will enable you guys to get into Sitka the quickest, cheapest, and easiest way possible. First and foremost, these are just my opinions. I know for sure I'm going to get some Sitka haters in here that are saying don't buy Sitka, it's overpriced, it's shit, it's not worth it. Cool, appreciate you being here. Go ahead and hop on out, go to the next video. No reason to come in here. Click on a video, you already know you're going to badmouth and talk bad about, that's fine. A lot of Sitka haters out there for some reason. It's not for everybody. This is all personal opinion, this is my opinion. Some people love it, some people hate it. So that part's out of the way. We're gonna get right into it for you guys that are looking to get into Sitka the cheapest, easiest way possible. And I'm gonna go through my three pieces that I think is the quickest way for you guys. First and foremost, get right into it here. For a top piece, uh, the Fanatic hoodie. This right here is a piece that I can almost confidently say that I use on 95% to 100% of my whitetail hunts. This piece right here is kind of labeled or made for what they call a mid layer. Um, I use this a lot in early season and if I use it in early season, uh, this would actually be an outer layer for me. But the reason that I picked this and put it in my top three, uh, quickest and easiest way for you guys to get in a Sitka is just the versatility of this unit. Um, this right here, the Fanatic hoodie, I'm not gonna dive into all the specs and all that stuff on each individual piece. You guys can hop on the website, uh, take a look at it there and read about it and read other reviews, but just giving you my opinions, the reason that I like this a lot, uh, it has right here a built-in face mask. So this is already incorporated and built in to the hoodie itself, uh, hence the name, it does have a hood on it. It has a front pocket kangaroo pouch, hand warmer pouch down here at the bottom. Complete pass through, so you can throw a hand warmer in there, either hand warmer packets or rechargeable unit, and just sit there in your tree stand, keep your hands nice and warm. It's got a pocket right up here in the front, so if you are using this as an outer layer, uh, you might be able to squeeze in a range finder there. It's, a, it's not a real deep pocket. Uh, wind checker's nice. Nice thing to put in that pocket. And then it's got about a, I don't know, maybe a half to three quarter length zip there on the front. And moving on down, it does have these flip over muffs where you have your hands in there, your fingers sticking out. You can flip those over and turn that into a, basically a muff. Keeps your fingertips warm. So that's that, and then at the end of this video, I'm gonna kinda explain and tell why I think this is the most three valuable pieces uh, to get into Sitka and not have to spend a ton of money right off the bat. As we know, Sitka is expensive, but you truly get what you pay for. Uh, the next piece here is gonna be another outer piece as well, and this is the Stratus line. This is the actual Stratus jacket. right here. It does have a pass-through in the back so you can run your lanyard from your safety harness right through the back here. Uh, one of the big things I like about the Stratus is I don't always want a hood on my jacket. They sometimes get in the way and this has, you can see here mine's off, but there's a zipper here with a couple snaps and I took the hood off. So if you guys like running your Jackets with the hood, you got the capability there with the Stratus. On the front, you got your normal uh, hand pockets right here on the front, each side, and those have zippers so you can keep you know, important stuff in there, don't have to worry about it falling out. And then up top, your chest pocket has zippers on each side. And these will definitely fit uh, grunt, grunt tubes, uh, range finders, whatever you want to throw in there. Plenty of room for that. And moving on to the next piece of my top 
three, and we do have a couple bonus items at the end. But the third piece, of course, we need a pair of pants. So I'm a big proponent of bibs, and once again, I'm going to tie it all in here at the end of why I'm choosing all this. Uh, but the bibs that I choose are the Stratus bibs. Here are those. These have real nice adjustable uh, bib portion here, so you can adjust them, you know, to the contour of your body. Um, they have a nice zipper up here in the front, and then they have the two-way zipper, so if you got it zipped up, walking to the stand, walking out, or from the stand, um, you need to take a leak, you can pull up from the bottom, so you don't have to fully unzip. If this, if you have an outer layer on, if you have your Stratus jacket over the top, you don't have to take the jacket off you can zip up from the bottom to do your business. Uh, it's got awesome cargo pockets here on each side and it's got pockets, zipper pockets on top of the cargo pockets. Then you've got your hand pockets up here and then kind of rolling right into why I think these are the three best pieces to get you guys started. Um, you'll see here on the side the reason that I went with the bibs and I actually have the Stratus pants as well. Um, I bought the Stratus pants I don't know, I'm going to guess on this, probably three, four years ago, something like that. And then they later came out with the Stratus bibs. Well, like I mentioned, I'm a big proponent, a big user of bibs. And the reason why I went with the bibs and why I prefer the bibs are the side zips. So say you're walking in, you only bought these three pieces. Uh, early season, yeah, it's going to be warm. It's going to be maybe flat out hot. So you can either wear some underlayers. A uh, real thin piece of merino, whatever it is, into the stand, pack your bibs separately. Or if it's a little bit cooler in the morning, you've got your side zips. So you can zip those things all the way down, still keep them buckled and closed here at the bottom. That way they don't flop around, they still stay, you know, secure around your boots. But you got your side zips on each side so you can allow plenty of you know air to come in and keep you a little bit cooler on your walk in that is the main reason why i like bibs and then once it gets colder you know you'll probably walk in with these zipped up and then as you know you don't have you know the difference between your pants and your jacket um open you know for wind to come in and make you much colder the bibs go up much higher and come up on your chest and it just decreases that much wind flow that's gonna come in and make you colder when you're sitting in the stand. So that's a big reason why I like the bibs. The reason that I chose the Stratus line is because it's not super bulky. And like I mentioned earlier, if you wanna walk in with a really light underlayer on, um, maybe even just a t-shirt, you can pack this down I'm just going to do it real quick here. You can pack this down pretty dang tight. That's just a quick job there, but you can throw that on the back of your backpack, throw it in your backpack. Um, one of the big reasons why I like the Stratus line is it does have wind stopper. Um, as you guys know, once you're up in the tree stand, any amount of wind and it's chilly out, that's going to make a big difference and you're really going to get cold in, in a quick amount of time. But kind of tying it all together, why I picked these three items for you guys to kind of get started or just to give you guys some tips is one, the versatility, like I showed you there, how easy it is to pack this down. It's not super heavy. It's not going to take up a lot of room. So it's going to be easy to throw in a backpack. Two, the wind stopper. And then three would be the side zip on the bibs themselves. And like I said, I've had times where I wore a really light uh, pair of merino. Uh, base layers into the stand and then once I get there with the side zips on the bibs you only have to take your boots off you can fully unzip these side zips pull these right over the the merino base layer whatever base layer you're wearing and then you know get bundled up set right in your stand if it's too hot on your walk in but by using and choosing the stratus pieces uh, you can take these all the way through pretty much the entire season what you can do is use your current base layers that you're currently using. You know, if you need to add two or three different base layers underneath this, then you'll have this on the outside with the wind stopper. So you're able to use it from early season all the way through the end of the season. The Stratus 
like I say, it's not real big and bulky. It's not a it's not a puffy jacket or anything like that by any means. So if you've got um, a vest, you can layer a vest underneath it. You can layer another jacket underneath this, size up maybe if you need to. There's just tons of options with this, tons of versatility, but I just wanted to give you a quick rundown. As you guys know, I did the entire video on my Sitka Whitetail uh, lineup, all the gear that I have. Uh, I'll make sure and link that at the end if you guys haven't seen that yet. But that video has gotten quite a bit of reviews and I get quite a few questions on what I would recommend to you guys if somebody's just starting out, you know, you don't wanna buy 15 different pieces of Sitka it's going to add up cost wise in a hurry. What would I recommend to you guys, you know, two, maybe three pieces. And this is what it is. The Sitka Stratus jacket, Fanatic hoodie and the Sitka Stratus bibs. Um, what I also wanted to throw in there, just a couple accessory pieces that I use a ton are the Fanatic gloves. I'm actually going to have to order a new pair of these pretty soon because they're getting some heavy use on them. But the reason I like these, and again, guys, I use this on whitetail, but I also coyote hunt a ton, and I'm always wearing my Sitka stuff. Um, but getting back into the Fanatic gloves, as you can see here, you have your index finger and your thumb available to use. Makes it real nice, you know, using, using your release, um, using your trigger finger, uh, getting cell phone out, answering text, whatever it might be. Uh, playing those video games on your phone, looking at Facebook, not looking at the bucks that are <laughs> walking in front of your stand. Whatever it is, the Fanatic gloves are awesome. Pretty warm and keeps those fingers open when you need them. And then the other item is the Stratus beanie. This right here has the Gore Windstopper as well, just like the jacket and the bibs do. The beanie is just like the Stratus line itself. It's not real thick at all. It's not bulky. But man, that Windstopper is just a game changer. Really, really works. So that's it, guys. I just want to bring you guys some information there. Like I mentioned, I get that question quite a bit. And that's what I would recommend to anybody starting out. And also a little pro tip here. Anybody that is um, law enforcement, prior military, current military, make sure and check out on Sika's website. You guys can definitely save yourself some money there. But that's it, guys. Any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. And uh, I'll make sure and post a card here at the end so you guys can take a look at my full rundown on my Sika gear. And uh, happy hunting. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.